Hi, this is Dr. Kimi Sato, and in this lecture, we have the fourth category, the last category of what we cover in this section, and we're going to cover about the high-speed exercise selections, and then we'll cover more dynamic exercises. I mentioned that the, this, these exercises require a lot of correct technique, so we're going to emphasize the instruction on how to do this correctly when you actually watch the movement of high-speed exercises. So in the table, you see the high-speed category with the four exercises. And then what you do here in hang high pull, jump shrug, and push press, and then weighted jumps, those are all categorized as a high speed with a minimal weight. So your target is to move as quickly as possible and because you don't have a high resistance, you should be able to move it with a very dynamic way and then we'll introduce each of those exercises. The first exercise on the high speed exercise category is a hang high pull. And then you've seen these exercises in the previous lectures, but here you put the lighter weights and then you try to move as quickly as possible. So in this exercise with this intensity, you're trying to go a little bit lower to very fast action. So before, when you put weights on, you cannot move that quickly. Now you can use that motion with a lighter weight. So it's going to be much more dynamic action to be able to pull. So you have to do the triple extension very quickly and then the bar comes up very quickly. So one of the things that you have to be careful is when you actually do the high hang high pull action, because the weight is light, okay, make sure that you can control the arm action because if you don't, then the bar can go all over the place. So make sure that you can actually stop the momentum of the bar about shoulder height. Okay? And then you have a very good triple extension because of light weight. Same thing that you're trying to push the ground, push the ground in the same manner like other exercises. You don't want to jump up and then move around all over the place. You're trying to control the movement with a high speed. Jump shrug is one of the fastest movements that you can do in a partial Olympic lifting movement. So in this exercise, you're trying to get to the mid-thigh pole position and then from there, basically you jump and shrug all at the same time. So it sounds a little bit difficult because how do you combine the jump action and then shrug action together, right? But what you do here is because the weight is so light, you can actually do the triple extension and then the shrug in a sequential manner. What that means is what I want to see here is you extend triple extension first and then transfer to the shrug in action. If I see shrug first and then triple extend, that's not very good exercise. What you have to do is you have to extend to triple extend and then you come up to the shrug in action. Also, it's not in a graph that you see earlier, but the overhead lifts are also part of the Olympic style lifting. And in this, introducing a push press action, you see that the bar position, it can be in the front where you can actually do the press action or it can be on the back of your head, come down to press up, okay? And there's a difference between a push press and then push jerk, okay? Push press is when you actually push off, the feet doesn't leave the ground. So your feet is on the ground to be able to push, okay? When you hear the term push jerk, that means that when you push off, your leg come off the ground and then you land, okay? So that's the difference between the two, but ultimately you use a relatively light weights and then trying to push to create that triple extension and then you transfer that momentum to get your arm above your head, okay? So you can use a push press or a push jerk but the, what you need to remember is you have to triple extend the first and then transfer that momentum to overhead. The last one uh, exercise in this category is a weighted jump. So what I introduce here is you can do the weighted jumps in a different weight. 
For example, you can use just the bar, which is 20 kilo, or you can put a little bit more weights on to make it, let's say, about half of your body weight, okay? Or you can put a little bit more weight on to be 75% or your body weight. The heavier it gets, of course, you're gonna move a little bit slower. So you wanna pick the weights that you can actually extend and then jump up. So it's the same counter movement jump action. So you have your weights here and then you go down and then jump up. And then if the bar on your back of the neck bothers you, you can also do the weighted jump with a dumbbell. So you can hold the dumbbell and then keep it beside you and then do the jumping. So again, that I don't recommend using heavy weights to do this, but it's a really great exercise to learn how to be explosive with a minimal weight so you can move very fast. In a short summary of this high speed exercise category, what I wanna emphasize is you have to move quick. So what you have to remember is you have to triple extend very quickly and then you have to be very stable to do this. Sometimes you see those exercises being performed and become out of a sequence, meaning that you don't have a very good control. So you have to learn to control that high speed movement with those exercises.